Okay, so if you've finished your isometric drawing task, you'll be creating this digital um, isometric image. So for your goal today is to use this program, you'll find the link in today's stream under extension, and you're going to be creating your own isometric castle. So very simple using this program, um, we simply select the box tool up here, which will give us some building blocks to use. Um, as you can see, wherever it is red, you cannot build building blocks. So we just need to use the center section here to build our castle, okay? So, first thing before you do anything, you need to select the color of the boxes that you're going to use. So give your castle a color. I'm going to go for a red castle. Um, so what do I simply want to do? Click down on the space where you want to place the box and we do it here. For example, if I accidentally put a box in the wrong spot, I can go to the rubber tool, click on this here and it will disappear. Okay, so I'm going to go five down, three across and then I'm going to go up to have a gate, two across. We're going to get rid of that. I've made a little mistake there. So we're going to get rid of this whole section. I've made another mistake. So this is all fine going along. So maybe it's better to build your base first rather than going up. So then we're going to go two more across and we're going to go I'm going to delete that one. So let's build our base first. That's what this program has shown us. That it starts to freak out when you build upwards before you have your base layer. So we're going to get rid of these two as well. So what we want to do first, you want to build all the things at the back first. So we're going to have our towers here first. They're going to be three high and our walls are going to be too high. We're going to have a tower in the middle as well. So now I've got my walls. So putting all my walls in first and then build up my towers. And I'm going to try and build over the top here a little arch. There we go. So I've created a little isometric castle for myself here. Um, the next step to be able to save this image, you want to go to inspect. Down here, we want to click on show axes and unselect that. So there's nothing covering. Then we want to go to print here and we'll click on image and click OK. This will give us this clear image. So what you can do, you can right click, save image as, or you can simply, if you're on an iPad or a computer, take a screenshot. Then you will email this image to me by the end of the lesson.